a narrow QRS tachycardia is seen at a rate of around 150 per minute. As T-segment depression is seen in inferior and lateral leads with T-wave inversion in leads 1 AVL and V6. These STT changes during tachycardia need not irrigate associated coronary artery disease. It is quite common in supraventricular tachycardia even in young individuals. It could be a manifestation of a prominent TA wave which is the atrial repolarization wave. Another situation in which TA wave becomes prominent and produces ST segment change is during exercise test. The upsloping ST segment depression seen during exercise test has low specificity for coronary artery disease due to this. In this case, there is evidence of left ventricular hypertrophy which can also contribute to STT changes. The rate of 150 per minute should make us suspect atrial flutter at a rate of 300 per minute with 2 is to 1 conduction as the underlying cause. Chiroted sinus massage can reduce the conduction rate and bring out flutter waves in a doubtful case. In this case, no features of flutter waves are evident. Instead, there is a suggestion of retrograde P wave at the end of the QRS in inferior leads. This will qualify for the description of a short RP tachycardia. Two important differential diagnoses of short RP tachycardia are AVNRT and AVRT.